in the Hellcat to go upload a video for you guys, but I had actually one of my work hands that comes over and takes care of some of the farm stuff and the lawn and all that jazz. He said, hey, I know you buy a lot of Cummins trucks. I saw one for sale over down the street from where I live. Uh, dark navy blue, it's a regular cab. It's got a big old Cummins sticker right across the front windshield. So I'm thinking about going to check this thing out while my video is uploading. Maybe it won't be a good deal at all. Maybe somebody's asking ridiculously high on price. Somebody could be asking a really reasonable price just to let the truck go. So I mean, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I thought he said it was just past the small gas station, past the church, and it was up ahead on the right. I think I see the front end of a third gen up here, right here. Man, he's got some cool stuff sitting out there. There's an old truck, an old car. Let's see what we got here. Well, I will definitely tell you this much. That truck is probably the cleanest third gen I have ever seen in person. And I know that it's hard to believe it. He's got the fender flares on it. And at first I thought, ah, oh, it's some kid. It says, got fender flares, got a big old Cummins sticker. It's actually not. The guy's probably I would say in his later 50s, and he's a one owner. He bought that truck new an hour from here. When I first pulled up, I'm like, okay, what's the price on it? I couldn't really tell because his price number was written in marker and all kind of bled together. I thought, it looks like a bunch of zeros. I'm like, what the heck? And so I couldn't tell if it said 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. I don't know what he was asking for. I couldn't tell, I couldn't read anything. The guy actually walked out there after he saw me pull up, and he's actually got a couple really cool toys sitting out there. He's got the truck, and he's like, hey, I'm like, Hey, saw the truck here, just thought I'd stop by and take a look. I haven't gotten a good look around it yet. He's like, yeah, one owner, never seen salt, never seen rain, and I'm the original owner that bought the truck when it was brand new in 05. That's freaking cool. And I said, well, do you mind me asking, you know, like, what you're trying to get out of it? Like, he's just like, um, well, asking 30,000, 30,000 would be, you know, my ideal number. It's a low mileage truck. He said the truck's only got 50,000 miles on it. I said 50,000 miles? He's like, yeah, 50,000 miles. It's got factory leather interior, power seats, power windows, power locks, every option. It's got heated seats on both sides. Really nice truck. Towing airbags under the rear end. It's got like a Banks cold air intake, a Banks intake elbow. Basically just all of your basic, like mild modifications because you want your truck to be reliable for daily driving and occasional towing stuff like that but nothing crazy not like oh dude i'm trying to get the fastest numbers on a drag race like not that kind of stuff very mildly built and he's like i i baby the truck the only time i get this thing out in the winter is if i'm starting it up to take it around the block and then wash it off in the bay because he's got an indoor wash i'm like what the heck just to make sure everything's still you know, lubricated up and running good. I said, well, what's your best price? If I, like, if I brought you $100 bills, what's your best price? And he's like, uh, $28,000. like, oh my gosh, dude, you're killing me. I know it's clean. I know it's rust free and this thing is stupid clean. I asked him why you put the flares on. He's like, uh, rains, he stanced it out. You know, these BFG all-terrain tires on it. They don't even stick out past the fender. He's like, they're just aggressive enough to flick a bunch of dirt on the side of the truck. and. He just wanted to try to keep the truck clean. There's no rust under there. He said he just put them on a couple of years ago and the truck's never been driven in the salt and rain anyway, so it wouldn't, wouldn't have been rusty anyhow. I wish I could have filmed around the truck. It's a cool truck, it's a clean truck, but if he's really stuck on 28, I just don't see how that's a possibility because there's a lot of really nice trucks for 28,000. Like there's a lot of nice trucks for 28. Once you get to the 25 mark for a third gen, you've got a lot of options. You can buy regular cabs, mega cabs, uh, crew cabs, like whatever you want, pretty much you can find it for 25 grand for a third gen. Now his third gen's in a little bit more of the rarity section because it's a one owner, 50,000 miles on it, and it's not owned by some kid that got a loan from the bank. Like it's a one owner truck that he's had for this whole time. He knows what's been done to it. He knows how it's been driven. He said, I literally service the thing meticulously. He's like, every 3,000 miles I do a service, but he hardly drives the truck. I mean, if you do the math, divide that out by, what, 15 years? That's how old that truck is, a 15-year-old truck? I don't know if it's basically $30,000 cool, but it's cool. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another vlog on the Loud and Proud YouTube channel. It's about 7 a.m. here at our place. Getting ready to head out this morning to buy a new truck. When I say new, I mean used new, but super freaking old school cool. I talked to the guy last night. The truck had just popped up for sale. It was only for sale a couple hours. I sent him a message, made him an offer. I honestly didn't think he was gonna take it because I kind of lowballed him like $2,000. And he's like, 
If you bring me that tomorrow, I'll sell it to you. It's actually a super minty looking four door long bed OBS Ford. Stay tuned. A little bit unfortunate, the message that I just got about an hour ago. A little bit too ticked to film it an hour ago, so I'm gonna film it now. The guy sold the truck out from under us this morning. As we were going out the door, we literally had the baby on the carrier, everything ready, packed up, headed out the door at like 8.15 this morning, ready to go. Got the car started, loading up our child that was already lacking sleep, getting him loaded up in the car. And I get a message from the guy with that OBS Ford. And guess what I get? Oh, sorry, man. You sold the truck this morning. Some guy offered me a little more than you did and I sold it. What is freaking wrong with people? What the heck is wrong with people? Like, I understand if you're in a tight spot and you need more money, I'm not blaming you for that, but you didn't even call me, you didn't text me, you didn't message me back. I said, hey man, I'm about to head your way. He said, dude, just sold the truck. Sorry. I said, what? The guy sold the truck. Somebody offered me more money. I said, we agreed last night that we knew exactly where we were going to meet, how much I was going to bring you, everything. We discussed everything. And I said, so we have a deal, right? You're not going to sell the truck out from under me because he said that there were so many people interested and all this other stuff. Like he probably, sh he should probably, you know, to hold off and wait for a better offer before he agrees to it. I said, are you sure, man? Cause I'll bring you money in the morning. He's like, okay, I'll hold it for you, no problem. And then he sells a truck to somebody else for a little more money instead of even asking me, hey, are you willing to pay an extra thousand bucks to buy the truck? Uh, yeah, I would have given you another thousand dollars to buy the truck. Dude, can you believe that stuff? Am I the only person that feels like you should have some kind of integrity? Like your words gotta mean something, right? If I tell you, hey, truck is yours, even if somebody calls me up and said, hey, I'll give you $2,000 more if you hold the truck for me instead. You know what I would do? If I was in a spot and I'm like, dude, I really do need the money. Like, I really can't turn down two grand overnight. It'd be dumb. Call the other guy up and say, hey man, I know this is what we agreed on and I hate that I'm having to make this call, but I want to make sure I give you the first opportunity. I really can't turn down an extra two grand and somebody just offered me an extra thousand bucks, an extra two thousand bucks or whatever. If you're willing to meet at that price, I'll sell you the truck for that since I said that it was yours first. But if not, I got to take this guy up on his offer. But not just like, oh, sorry, I sold the truck. I didn't want to say anything until like last minute because you know, because what? Because it's sleazy? Because I wouldn't want to either. But it's kind of the wrong thing to do, dude. What is your thoughts about that guy selling the truck out from under me? When he said we had a deal, if I was there in the morning, he would hold it for me at the price I offered him. And then he said, oh, sorry, somebody offered me more money. I'm starting to think it's Ford people because it's happened to me when I was trying to buy an OBS. <laughs> She's, she's pinning that on Ford people. It is kind of funny because she tried to buy an OBS over the Duramax. She was going to buy an the OBS. The difference is I had the cash and we were already in Ohio. Yeah, that was that was really shady. So yeah. the guy basically had this OBS, really good shape. I thought it was under 200,000 miles. I'm not, yeah. I don't remember. But it was really really nice truck. Four door, long bed, not all rusted out. This is going to be a sick truck. We literally drive three hours. We get to my aunt and uncle's house. Thank goodness we were at family's house. Otherwise, we would have had to like buy a hotel and it would have cost us all this traveling and like for nothing. She gets a message, hey, by no, the way. No, I didn't even get a message. I went on my messenger and saw that it was listed for, it was listed sold. Okay. He didn't even tell me and then I messaged him like, uh, why is this listed sold? Like, are you already market? Because like, I already told you I was coming or did you actually sell it? Because she told him like, hey, we're all good, right? Because I withdrew the cash and we are on our way. You know, like we are going to be there. It got marked as sold and she's like, Huh, he already marked it as sold. Yeah. I'm like, well, maybe he just marked it as sold because you said you're on your way, and if you're making a three hour trip, you're pretty committed, like you're pretty yeah. serious, you know? So she sent him a message, and the guy's like, oh, sorry, I sold it. Yeah, didn't even tell me. Somebody else came first. We freaking drove three hours. We're in town now. Like, are you serious? There's you don't a lot do, of things I wanted to tell you. Him don't, you don't do that to people. Like, yeah. I told them, like, with the OBS Ford guy, who's like, oh, you know, I'll hold it, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. Oh, somebody offered me a little more money. I can understand if somebody's like, okay, I'm in a pinch, I really need money. That's totally fine. Message the person you already said you had to deal with and say, hey, I hate to ask you this, but I got somebody else who said they'll be here today with $1,000 more, $2,000 more, whatever. Are you willing to meet me at that price? If so, I'll still sell it to you. Otherwise, I've gotta get, I've gotta sell it to somebody else because I really, I really could use the extra money. People get in a tight pinch. People get in a spot where they're like, I really can't afford to like lose a thousand bucks. Like, I gotta, I gotta sell it for more if I can yeah. get more. On our way over here, to show you guys something else. I don't know if you like it as much as a four-door OBS. Maybe some of you will like it more. I'll show you what I'm talking about.
Here it is. Not everybody is gonna recognize the scenery. Not the first video I filmed, but this was the first video that I filmed after my first one. And once I decided like I'm gonna commit to start doing YouTube, and turn it into my career. This is where this truck was sitting in this exact spot. This is what I was doing for my first ever thumbnail. I made a video talking about how, you know, this will be my next truck. Maybe. I didn't have like a deal worked out with my dad. I just said, hey, you keep saying you're wanting to sell some trucks because you know, he's got a 392 scat pack and his King Ranch. The other two trucks, this 12 valve and his flatbed 12 valve, like they just sit, you know, it's just collecting dust. It's just sitting here and it's a beautiful 80,000 mile truck. I was thinking about buying the truck and doing a giveaway with the truck. This is the way I see it. My dad's wanting to sell this truck. So he either just sells it to somebody and just some random guy that just thinks, oh, that's a cool truck, just buys it and then that's it and it's gone. Or I buy it off of him instead of some other random person buying it off him. And I give one of you guys the chance to win this truck since it has such a cool history with this channel. I feel like that would be like the most respectable way to part ways with this truck. It's even got the original LNP decal that was the first decal i ever sold was that decal right there and i remember when i was so proud of that sticker and i had like 20 of them in stock and i'm like man oh my gosh new decals buy one before they sell out and i sold my like my first 20 decals in one day and i was like oh my gosh like i made 200 bucks like it was so cool humble beginnings like dude it goes way back with this thing like way 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 back and then part of me thought oh well you know maybe i'll buy this truck keep it from myself since you know there's a lot of people that just really think it's cool build the blue truck finish that truck and give that one away. That truck needs so much work though still. Like I would not have that truck ready for another two months even if I started right now. I'd have to do full interior, engine stuff because there's some small stuff I'd like to do with the engine just to make sure the truck runs like perfect. Uh, Drivetrain needs gone through just a whole bunch of just stuff that's just gonna take a lot of time. I know how it goes when you start a giveaway with a truck and it's not done and people are kind of like, a lot of people wait to enter because they're like, I don't know what this truck's gonna turn out like when it's done. I don't know how I feel about it. So here's your options. We just let this truck go to somebody else Somebody else buys it if somebody can find the cash to buy it because he wants a lot of cash for it. Or we buy this truck, we give this truck away to one of you guys, or I go and I pick up the regular cab 67 Cummins, third gen with 100,000 miles on it that is for sale about an hour from me. That truck is still available and that guy is not acting shady and he's gonna sell it out from under me. He said, hey dude, I will sell you the truck as soon as I can get a day off work because the guy's been like apparently work, working like crazy. Pretty much it, because the other trucks are all kind of like out. The Chevy that I was talking about, the LB7, had no idea, has a huge lift, big wheels, big tires, all this stuff, looks super sick. Like it looks like a four wheel drive. You would just assume that it's a four wheel drive truck. It's, it ended up being a two-wheel drive truck. I had no idea. The OBS got sold out from under me. Shady business there. And then in terms of the Mega Cab third gen, he wants a little bit too much for that truck and he's pretty firm on his price. I'm just really not in the mood to pay too much for a truck that I'm really not like attached to and I know you guys aren't attached to and it's not gonna be cool enough to be worth what he's wanting for it. So those are pretty much the options. Whatever comment gets the absolute most likes, we will consider that decision the most. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys back here on Monday. And if you guys decide fast enough down in the comment section below and we figure out exactly what you guys want, maybe by Monday, we will have a new truck on the channel to show for you. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.